coming up now on the SPFL's official YouTube channel, the latest action from the championship, including a late setback for Dundee. A big win for the Wasps. And the Martin are too strong for Livingston. Second place Dundee dropped two points at home to Falkirk. The hosts went ahead midway through the first half. A penalty kick after a handball from Falkirk's Will Volks. The incident happened right in front of referee Steve O'Reilly who pointed to the spot straight away. Ryan Conroy stepped up and calmly dispatched the ball with his left foot into the back of the net. No chance for Bairns keeper Michael McGovern he dived the wrong way. Dundee couldn't extend the lead and Falkirk punished them by snatching a dramatic equaliser in injury time. Gary Holt's side were throwing everyone into the box and eventually Luke Leahy got the final touch to take the ball past Kyle Letherin. Dundee almost cleared the danger but the ball was fired across the area and the substitute managed to guide it into the far corner. Alawa moved up to fourth place in the championship with a 1-0 win at home to Wraith Rovers. There wasn't a great deal between the two sides on the afternoon, but it was Paul Hartley's men who scored the only goal of the game in the 64th minute. A flowing move ended with Andy Cook inside the box, poking the ball beyond the Rovers keeper, Ross Laidlaw. Quick break left the five men exposed at the back and Kirk claimed his fifth goal of the season to move the Wasps within two points of Ray. The Martin were impressive 3-1 winners away to Livingston. They had to show a bit of character as well, coming from a goal down after falling behind to Mark McNulty's stunning strike in 20 minutes. It was a goal fit to grace any ground of the country. McNulty's first time hit from the edge of the area left Suns keeper Jamie Ewing stranded as it made its way into the top corner. Crucially, Ian Murray's men managed to get back on level terms just before half-time. The host struggled to clear a free kick and Mitch Meganson weighed in with a thunderbolt of his own from the corner of the box. It flew into the net past Kevin Walker. After McNulty's opener, it was a case of anything you can do, we can do better. Great finish from the former Aberdeen youngster. Dumbarton got their noses in front in the early stages of the second half. A surging run from Paul McGinn was ended illegally by Conor McDonald inside the area. And referee Stephen Finney had no choice but to award the penalty. McGinn's direct play troubled the Livingston back line and McDonald clearly tripped him. Chris Turner is on penalty duty and he tucked away to make it 2-1. Libby keeper Kevin Walker almost kept the ball out but it sneaked just underneath him. The visitors gave themselves some breathing space with a third goal 15 minutes from time. Substitute Brian Prunty had only been on the pitch eight minutes when he rolled the ball home. Livingston was short on numbers at the back as they pushed forward and Prunty sealed the win with a simple finish. Two early strikes gave Queen of the South maximum points at home to bottom side Morton. Gavin Riley headed the hosts ahead in the sixth minute. The cross from the right-hand side was swung into the centre of the area and the young striker was brave as he climbed in between two Morton defenders.
Ashton McIntyre's men doubled their advantage in the 18th minute. This time the cross from the left-hand side caused the problems in the Greenwich side's defence and eventually Ian McShane latched onto the loose ball and lashed it beyond Derek Gaston in the away goal. Alan Moore's side stayed bottom of the table on nine points. Queen of the South moved up to seventh with a 2-0 win. Well, the In the Championship this weekend, the fixtures look like this. Dumbarton host Alloa, Cowden Beath are at Falkirk. The top two meet at New Douglas Park when Hamilton Ackies host Dundee. Bottom side, Morton welcome Livingston to Capolo. And in Kirkcaldy, it's Wraith Rovers versus Queen of the South. In League One, fourth placed Air United take on third place Stenhouse Muir at Somerset Park. Dunfermline are at home to Brecon City. Fourth are in East Fife meet at Station Park. Bottom side Air Reunions go looking for points at Stranra. And on Monday night, our both welcome league leaders Rangers to Gayfield. Finally, League Two, Annan hosts Stirling Albion at Gallabank. Berwick Rangers and Albion Rovers meet at Shieldfield. Leaders East Stirlingshire face Clyde. Montrose are at home to Elgin City. And Peterhead are the visitors at Hamden to face Queen's Park. We'll have the best of the action from these matches next time on the SPFL's official YouTube channel.